right, guys. So we're at the Maverick over here in Albuquerque on exit, what is this, uh, 154, yeah, 154, 960 mi 961 miles to go. Need to get some fuel. It's gonna take about 140. So I mean, there's still like 60 gallons in there, but uh, fuel gets more expensive the further west I will go. So um, I'm just a little shy. I need about like th 30 more gallons to get to uh, either Winslow or Holbrook or to where I would got fuel at in Arizona. But we're gonna get, get it here. Show you how I got. Say hello to the kitty. Show you guys how I usually get fuel. Now, it's a little quicker here than it is normally with the, uh, if you're at any other company. You slide your card. Always get your gloves. I just like to keep my card clean. All right, that's all I need is my trip number and truck number. 305, I'm saving myself anywhere from 15 to 30 cents. And we'll go at good depth, so we're multiple products. Tractor depth. Tractor first. I'll turn off here in a few minutes. So what's my unit number? So what's my truck number? trip number which is this will change depending on what what your actual trip number is eventually you get pretty used to memorizing these as you get them not good fuel now if you were to like let this go turn it off and when it clicks it wouldn't fill it up all the way because it, it, it you would have about 10 percent You'd be about 20 gallons shy because it, it, it's 95% capacity. So 10% across bolt, 200 gallons. That makes it 20 gallons shy. So I, even after it clicks off, I will, yep, I'll put another 10, 10, or so, 10 to 15 gallons in still. I'll fill it up where I can actually see it. Pretty much where I can see it at the edge of the brim. Now, as I was pumping, this, this whole process only takes about uh, like 15, 20 minutes at most. Sometimes, depending on how, how buggy it is, you may, you may need to scrub your windows and stuff a little bit longer. But so as I'm pumping, I clean my windshield or in my windows. And I like, I like uh, Flying J, TA, actually, I like all the major truck stops. Maverick's trying to, trying to get into the game because they put soap. The better ones put dish soap in their stuff, which helps us clean our stuff better. Because uh, some of the, like the bugs are really hard to get off if you don't have that soap in it. Or the degreaser, which some of them have. Also, you see how spotty that is, the mirrors? That's why we clean them. Because between the, the windows and the mirrors, this gets extra hard to see. It creates a lot more glare. And if you ever wonder why a trucker who is actually paying attention to the road will drift towards you, most likely this, this stuff's dirty. Humans tend to naturally drift towards the layers of stuff. Not that we don't do it on purpose, just how it works. Ah, see? Not perfect, but better. Now go to the other side. Always better go from this side to that side. That way, when you clean your windshield, you don't get the streaks across. Yeah, he always does that. What? What? Glad I finally caught him doing that on camera. But he's scared of this, watch. He's scared. Psh. He's like, oh no, it's gonna get me. Yeah, he likes to watch me though. He's a good little guard cat. Oop, missed that one all up. Yeah, I hate the windows are around because you can't get every little crack. No matter how hard you try. Yeah, 
can see this one's really dirty. One pump just clicked off, driver's side. So we fill up just like you guys do normally, for the most part. We do things a little bit different though. Oop. Easier to clean these from going sideways. At least on this one, on the Kenworth, it was a little easier. Now I'm not gonna clean those. Because I need to start doing that paper towels. Because when I do it with this, they move a lot easier than my big ones. Now, if I just came through a major salt storm, or not a salt storm, but it has a lot of salt, so, you know, salted roads or bugs, I'd scrub on this about three to five times. Especially if, I'm, if it's, I'm in the, like the desert where those bugs get soaked on, they get caked on from the sun sitting on them. They take a little effort to get off. though even when you're fueling and when you're brand new you start off a little slow but eventually you find a routine that you can be pretty quick on now it's much faster it's easy you're able to be much faster at night when you're not sitting in line behind the trucks that are taking a 30 minute break right where I'm at because people do that which I don't mind like if you spend 20 minutes to fuel up at least at your last 10 minutes if it's not super busy, up in the front, pull up at least. Ugh. Yeah, this is why you always start on this on the other side though. So that way when you go over here, you're not getting that that stripe across all across the middle of your. Uh, your, your vision range, your vision. Ah. There's one last thing you do at the very end before you're done pumping and you pull away. Well, well I mean, outside. The very last thing is you go inside and take a leak or shit, whatever you need to do. Oh shit, I missed one giant patch there. Don't know how I missed that. Alright. Start over here. Yeah, see? It took 135 gallons when it cooked off. That means I can get about another 15 gallons, 10 to 15 gallons in there. So I want it up more. It's almost there. What so you do, just like you do with a car, you can't get as much in here like you would a car. There you go, until it clicks it off. Yeah, a little bit more. All right, that one's done. See? I like it to where the fluid's at the top of the neck, or the bottom of the neck, I mean. I hate these lids. It's cats out here. Finally moved my chains outside though. They were taking up the whole box. Do the walk around. Just to make sure. You're not gonna do this every day when you stop. Well, I mean, you could, but. I usually do when I get fuel. Just to get a more general look on it. Cause I already did my pre-trip just to make sure nothing funky happened. If you ran over something or whatever. Now if I was getting reefer fuel, reefer would be the very last thing, but I filled that up a couple hours ago. So I'm good on that. So we go back to this side. 140, 
Best I took five more gallons. That's I gotta get down. Oop. I pulled it out a little too much there, but here. Diesel comes out of the pump really, really fast. Forty-five. Now we're gonna get deaf, which is the blue stuff. Makes the is also nice and clean. Yeah, diesel loss being clean. Who would have thunk it? This one's always playing like tug of war, though. Some of this, you get a fucking, you get a like, a, it's like you're playing tug of war against like five guys pulling against you sometimes. And it's only gonna take about like five, six gallons. It's only a 25 gallon drum. Let's get out my gun. See where the cat's at. Hi. He always does that. When we get out of the truck, he always steals my seat. Let's see, I said five or six gallons. So far I'm at four. Am I gonna be right? Yeah, but I'll gladly pay 305 over the 315 to 3, th actually 315 to 340 across the state. So Mavericks, by the way guys, pay attention to Mavericks. Our next is, uh, what was it? The one at Winslow, one at Holbrook, and one at Albuquerque. There's two in Albuquerque on the side. This is the west side of Albuquerque on the 40. That's where you want to feel if you're owner ops. They're always, they're going to be a little bit cheaper. Look at that, 5.2. Get to know your truck, and this helps it out. It helps you figure out where to fuel too. That's all it takes, guys. You know, quick and easy. If I was getting ready for fuel, I'd show you guys how you know how to look when you guys pulling up, but I'm not. So hey, I need to get inside, go use the restroom. So you guys stay safe out there and bye!